Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to today's video. So I thought today it was about time I gave you a little autumn wardrobe update. I have been adding quite a few things into my autumn wardrobe and I wanted to do a little bit of like a roundup video and show you guys what I have been adding in. This is going to be basically like a huge collective haul of loads of different brands and things that I've been adding into my wardrobe. If you guys have been following along with the vlogs recently with all the autumnal content you know that one thing I've realised I was really really missing in my wardrobe was really key transitional items. Things that are perfect for how the weather is now but can also take me through into the colder months into full on autumn winter so I've been doing that recently I've been adding in lots of like transitional pieces really really classic pieces a few more fun pieces so I wanted to show you everything that I've been picking up today and of course I will be doing this as a try on haul if you're new around here and you don't know me personally my name's Ellie I am five foot in height I'm a size 10 on top and I'm a size 12 on bottom and I always link all the items along with the sizing that I picked up in those items down below in the description box so make sure to check the description box for the items Items, for what I'm wearing, for what's behind me, everything will be linked down below. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video because there are a lot of things to get through. Now I wanted to start off with a couple of things from a brand that my shorty girls over here are going to be so, so excited to hear about. Now this is a brand called Rev the Label, which is one that I've seen on Instagram loads. Like it's a huge, huge like Instagram brand. I see it all over my feed and I've been wanting to try their pieces for ages and I've finally, finally added a couple of their items into my wardrobe, which I'm so excited about. If you don't know Rev the Label, they're basically like a petite but curvy petite brands they do like petite dressing and they also do petite curve which I definitely think I'm more on the petite curve range which is absolutely amazing and I'm so so excited about this because I do find sometimes with brands if you do go to the petite section they're not always designed for girls with curves and I know a lot of you guys are quite similar in kind of body shape to me and in dress size to me so I'm really really excited about this brand so the first thing I've added into my wardrobe is a dress now this is something I spoke about so much in summer and I'm going to continue on with winter and that is updating my evening wear wardrobe. I feel like evening wear is one of those things where it is the classic, I have nothing to wear, have a meltdown, don't want to go out two hours before I'm supposed to leave kind of a vibe. I don't know about you, but the amount of times I've been like, I'm nothing to wear, I don't even want to go anymore, get in a really bad mood, and you just feel really flustered, and I don't want to feel like that anymore. I want to have an evening wear wardrobe where there are like maybe six to ten items in there that I just know are key classic make me feel good will go with absolutely anything will always look amazing that is my kind of vibe so this dress is one of those items it's basically a stunning like maxi dress with this really really gorgeous like detail here on the bust so it's supposed to be really flattering around your bust it's supposed to hug you really really nicely on your waist and just fit perfectly and obviously because it is petite i don't have to worry about length at all it's gonna be a really really nice length for me i actually do have a friend's going away party coming up and I think I might wear this to that because it is just so stunning, so classic, so timeless and one of those dresses I think I can reach for time and time again for so many different kinds of occasions. Oh my word, how stunning is this dress? This is absolutely gorgeous. I feel a million dollars in this. I really really do i literally don't have any shoes on just to show you the exact length now obviously i'm very petite on the petite scale so it does just about hit the ground but i actually think it's quite flattering um and then if i was to wear just some small heels look at that i feel like i look so tall like that you just get that like inch above the ground um i think that is just absolutely gorgeous and it is fitted so beautifully it really does just skim my waist and hips it feels really like tight without being uncomfortable tight do you know what i mean um and i have obviously adjusted the straps just to make sure that it fits so perfectly on my kind of like bust area and then this does tie so if you have bigger boobs than me there is the opportunity to like loosen this and have it exactly basically to how you need it to be which i just absolutely love about this i really do feel like this is the perfect kind of cocktail dress but also this could be kind of dressed down a little bit like it doesn't need to be full-on like evening vibes but i do think this is the perfect drinks with the girls kind of a dress date night dress evening party dress i absolutely adore this this really really has filled a huge gap in my wardrobe and i think this is gonna be one of those dresses where when i don't know what to wear i'm not entirely sure what the dress code is i just want to feel amazing and i want to be comfortable and i want to look amazing 
this is the dress that I pull out. Now this next dress you might be looking at and thinking, Ellie, that's not a very you colour. And you wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> looking at the viewfinder, it's coming up a lot brighter than it is in real life. But it's this really, really stunning, kind of like cherry red dress. Now I know I'm being a little bit preemptive here, but I feel like this is going to be the perfect Christmas occasion dress. Am I allowed to say the C word yet? Is it too soon? Maybe it's a bit too soon, but... This Christmas, I feel like I'm gonna have plans galore. Like my life is already getting so much busier and we've barely even gotten into like the busy festive season. So I feel like come Christmas, I'm gonna be booked and busy and I kind of can't wait for it. And I feel like having a perfect, like quite festive, but also not overly festive dress is so, so nice. I feel like red is just a gorgeous, gorgeous color for the evening. It looks so timeless and so classic. And also it won't just be a Christmas dress. Like it will look a little bit festive around the festive season, but I can dress it for like January, February. I can dress it up for like evening meals, anything a bit more fancy. I think it's just absolutely stunning. So I'm really, really excited about this. I have been wanting to get like the perfect silk satin slip dress in my wardrobe. I feel like I've finally, finally found it. I genuinely didn't think it would get much better than that black dress and then I put this on and I'm like wow I'm just blown away at first of all the length is absolutely gorgeous it's a really lovely just like evening kind of length this is actually a little bit more casual than I was kind of expecting it to be on um but I do think I can dress this up with like some heels a little clutch bag and it really is like the perfect Christmassy kind of outfit I just love look how much the skirt just like flows as I move I absolutely adore that and it sits so nicely on my my hips and waist I've never had a slip dress sit this nicely on my curvy figure I do find sometimes they kind of like either are too loose here or too tight here and I love the cowl neck as well it's absolutely gorgeous I do have a strapless bra on with this um just because I find these kind of like materials you kind of need a little bit of structure with it um but it's just absolutely gorgeous it's got this really low back as well which I think is so so stunning so I'm absolutely in love with this I think this is so gorgeous I think I need it in every color now um it also comes in black and maybe one other color so I'm definitely going to need to add those into my wardrobe because this is just so so beautiful now moving on to a couple of bits from Revolve now you guys know I absolutely adore Revolve as a brand they have so so many gorgeous pieces on that I've done lots of like mini Revolve hauls recently actually I've been picking up quite a lot from there so make sure to catch up on those if you haven't already but there's one thing that I've been eyeing up recently and that is a graphic tee it's something i've spoken about a little bit i have a few kind of like logo slogan tees and i really really like them i've actually been getting a lot more wear out of them but something that i'm like i just think it's missing from my wardrobe is a really cool oversized classic tee and i have been eyeing up a few from anina bing until I stumbled upon this one from Revolve and I was like, oh, that is a really, really cute one and a great way to kind of dip my toe into the trend, give it a try and I fell in love. So this is from Lovers and Friends at Revolve, which is just a brand I absolutely adore. In terms of affordability on Revolve, they're definitely on the lower end. They're a lot more affordable and a lot more kind of like budget friendly, I would say. So this is such a cool little tee. It's got like a little cowboy on it and says Colorado Springs, which I just thought was so, so cool. Now this is definitely like a lot more like casual style. Definitely not the kind of thing that I'd usually wear like day to day during the week, but maybe like a weekend style with like my baggy jeans, a pair of trainers, I think would look really, really cool. So I wanted to pick this up. I got it in a large because I did want it to be really oversized and baggy and kind of look like I've just thrown on my boyfriend's t-shirt. I think that's such a really like cool girl vibe. Can I say cool anymore? I'm so sorry, but I feel like I really am trying a little bit harder to be a bit more of a cool girl recently. Don't know if I'm achieving it. The fact that I'm saying I'm trying hard to be a cool girl probably goes to show that I'm definitely, definitely not, but I just thought this was such a cute little tee and such a gorgeous, like really classic, but simple, but easy to wear item to add into my wardrobe and so perfect for autumn. Now I've just chucked on the pair of jeans that I was talking about that I would kind of style these tops up with. Um, and I'm obsessed. I'm absolutely obsessed. Now, I know normally I would not wear baggy with baggy. Like, I know I did say it in my petite girl's guide. That's a big no-no. But for something really super casual, super laid back, this I love. Like, I feel like, you know, in a movie when the girl's looking really cool, like, moving day or something. Or, like, she's painting her house and she wears something like this. That's what I feel like. I think it's so, so cool. So, 
I wouldn't be against wearing it without tucking it in, but then if you did want to kind of like add a little bit of structure, just, that was a really bad tuck, but you know, chuck it into the jeans, then you get a little bit more structure to it, um, and it's a little bit more flattering, I would say, um, but I really, really love it, I love how baggy and oversized the tee is, I definitely look to size up if you are getting this, because I do think these kind of t-shirts look better when they are a little bit baggier, um, I just adore how this looks, I think it's super, super cool. And whilst I was on the product page for the Colorado tee, it also popped up that it had a few different Different colors so I was like oh let's check out the other colors and I saw this one and thought that is really really cute now if you guys know me you'll know that I find blue to be quite a like neutral color in my wardrobe obviously I've got a lot of like blue denim so I definitely count blue as a neutral so I thought this would look really cool with a pair of blue jeans start up for the weekend again I really really like it so this one says Yosemite National Park now it is actually slightly different I think this one's a little bit shorter than the last one I don't know if it is supposed to be I don't know if they're supposed to be the exact same tee but in my opinion this one's a tad tad shorter but it's probably not something I'm going to be mad about considering I am a shorty and it's probably gonna fit me a little bit better um but again I picked this up from a large it's from lovers and friends and it's so adorable I'm absolutely in love I don't think I can say any more about two graphic kind of simple tees but they're just so so cute and I love the blue as well I think out of the two probably the cowboy one the Colorado one is my favorite but I do really like this as well I think again it just looks super cool and casual with the jeans I actually really like them like this with a pair of trainers and like maybe like a rucksack or something if you want to just go with like a really cool girl chic outfit and then tuck it in nicely for a little bit more kind of styling and a little bit more of like a yeah I just checked this on but also I still look really nice kind of an outfit um so yeah, I really, really love it. I'm definitely glad that I picked both up because I definitely think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of the two of them. And then lastly from Revolve, I picked up a new racer vest. Now, I love my race vests you guys will know i wear them all the time the amount of times i do like my styling reels or like my carousel ways to wear the amount of times i'm like oh you've worn a race vest in like four out of six of these outfits and you've worn a race vest far too much ellie you need to stop but i just love them and i feel like if there's something you found that you love embrace it go for it and they really are a classic item that you can seriously get your cost per wear out of so i thought you know what it's about time that i invested in a bit more of kind of like a higher price pointed really well made racer vest and when i saw that they had a brown one online i was like yes i need that because i didn't want to just completely replace a race vest that was already in my wardrobe i've obviously got lots of white and blacks i've got a couple of different colors but i don't have brown so it's like okay that's a big gap that i can fill with this top and i love it i'm adoring brown this autumn winter i've definitely made more of a conscious effort to add a few more kind of like lighter tones into my wardrobe this autumn with lots of like whites and creams and beiges and things like that and i feel like they start so so well with brown like nothing screams autumn more than brown so i'm really excited that i've added this into my wardrobe love 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 these racers are so so my vibe i absolutely adore them i never actually bought a racer from revolve so i'm really really glad to see how like good it looks on like it's really really high quality it definitely feels thicker than my other races so you can definitely get away with not wearing a bra with them and one of my favorite thing about these actually which is something i talk about a lot whenever i talk about races is this scoop i always find that if it comes down too low we get a bit of a roll and it's not the most flattering i like it to come just underneath my armpit <laughs> bit of a crazy to wear. uh just underneath my armpit so that i do have like a bit of movement like i don't feel restricted but it's still really flattering and a bit more kind of like covering so yeah really glad that i've added that into my wardrobe i can imagine myself getting a hell of a lot of wear out of this racer next up i have some new shoesies to show you which i'm so so excited about now if you've been following me for a while you'll know that my ultimate favorite autumn winter pair of shoes is from nasty gal which is probably something i don't think i ever thought i would say a lot of the shoes in my wardrobe i try to go a bit more kind of like higher end higher price pointed i really want to make them last but that being said that doesn't mean that high street items don't last as long as you look after them as long as you buy items that really really go well in your wardrobe they will stand the test of time they're not just a trend thing that you're going to chuck out after a year and you can get a lot of cost per wear so those black nasty gal boots I couldn't even tell you how much they will have cost me per wear. It's probably in the pennies by this point. I've worn them so, so much. And I noticed they had a new pair on there that I was like, I feel like that needs to be added to my wardrobe. And it is this stunning 
creamy beige pair now this is definitely something i'm missing from my wardrobe i don't really have a pair of shoes in this color i've got my steve madden's but they are suede they're a little bit more casual in my opinion they're much more like weekend shoes whereas this i feel like i can wear with so much in my wardrobe i absolutely adore them they've got this really like chunky heel really chunky sole i love them i remember mango did a similar pair last year and i think they were about 200 pounds and i was really really tempted to buy them but just in all honesty couldn't justify the price i was like i just question if i'm going to get that much wear out of it because last year i wasn't wearing as much beigey creamy tones this year i'm definitely wearing a lot more beige and cream and also you know my saying if there's something that you like that's maybe a bit more of a luxury a bit more of a spending purchase i always recommend going for a high street version first seeing how much cost per wear you get out of and if you wear it a lot you can always invest in the luxury version and upgrade a little bit so i'm really really happy that i've added these into my wardrobe i think they are going to be such cool boots that I'm gonna wear a lot this autumn winter and then I couldn't not show you the jeans not the jeans the boots on I love them I think they actually look really cool as this like with this as an outfit um but just to kind of like let me come down a bit um show you them so I know often we get a lot of issues with kind of like calf size um and something that I've often tried to steer clear of is boots that come up too high so I think these are like the perfect kind of height that they come up and they don't they're not too tight on me at all. Like, they fit really, really nicely. They're not too too tight on my calf. So I'm really, really happy about those. I think they look really super cool. And I definitely can see myself getting a hell of a lot of wear out of them. And then the last retailer that I wanted to talk about in today's haul is Miss Guided. Now, I've been adding a few new pieces from Miss Guided into my wardrobe. And I am obsessed. And the first one that I have here is so cool. And that's all I can say about it. It's just really really cool it's from the restyled collection which i really really like it's like this kind of ribbed like stretchy jumper fabric but in a t-shirt style it's just i've never seen anything like it and i've never actually shopped from the restyled section at misguided i believe it's their more kind of like elevated bit higher price pointed but better made curation collection on misguided and i'm absolutely loving it it's kind of similar to the river island called the curated i think it is if you watch my river island haul my last haul you would have seen that um but it's kind of similar to that i think and i definitely have noticed like a big difference in quality like this feels amazing this does not feel like it's from misguided and i'm absolutely obsessed with it. it's such a gorgeous color this kind of really like rich creamy tone and i feel like there's so many different ways that i could wear this up i think it's just like a really cool elevated version of a really classic item so i'm so excited to have added this into my wardrobe. I absolutely love this jumper. It's just so cool. I feel like it's making the camera go a little bit funny with how stripy it is, um, like the ribbing, but oh, it's just adorable. It's like kind of wraps, it's really, really cool. And I really love the fact that because it comes down lower on your waist than it does on your tummy, I find that silhouette very flattering. Normally I like it the other way around where it kind of comes down like that actually this is like a very flattering like cinches in your waist a little bit kind of like pulls you in and i love it to pieces i kind of wish it also came in long sleeved because i feel like it would look really cool for long sleeved for winter but especially for autumn this is so perfect like really is a really cool twist to a classic item which i absolutely love about it so i definitely i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it this autumn i adore it now next up we have something that i feel like everyone needs in their autumn winter wardrobe and that is a white roll neck exhibit a exhibit b so obviously i added this one into my wardrobe from my last river haul which i absolutely love this is definitely more transitional because it's obviously got the no sleeves so it's a bit more kind of like for this kind of weather this is a little bit more for when the weather gets a little bit chillier maybe want to layer up a little bit more or alternatively this would go really well with a skirt i find when it comes to transitional dressing you've kind of got to pick one or the other you either have your top half out or you have your bottom half out so i usually find that i go for shorter sleeves with trousers or longer sleeves with skirts because i find that's a great way to still make sure that you are kind of like wearing a breathable outfit it's not too warm but it's still keeping you really nice and snugly and so when i saw this one on misguided i was like that definitely needs to be added into my wardrobe again it's this gorgeous like ribbed fabric you guys know i loved ribbing because number one it's really super comfortable and stretchy number two it's so so flattering i find the ribbing hides a multitude of sins which i really really like about it and what i also liked is about the collar 
I find being a shorter girl, sometimes we have to be quite careful with the collars on our jumpers. They can be a bit overwhelming. I don't have the longest neck in the world, so I do sometimes find jumpers that look really cool and other girls literally come up like here on me and it just looks like I'm drowning in my clothes. So I like to keep my kind of turtlenecks a bit shorter, more of like a mock turtleneck is much more flattering on us because then they look like full turtleneck. So I definitely find that that's a really great tip to take into autumn, winter for any jumpers you're looking for. Make sure to have a look at the collar, how high the turtleneck comes up and how flattering that's gonna be on you. But I'm so excited that I've added this jumper into my wardrobe. I feel like I've really filled a gap with this and this is something I'm gonna get so much wear out of. This really is the perfect autumnal basic. I absolutely adore it. It's like really nicely cropped so that you don't have to worry too much about tucking in. I do have a few of these jumpers that come down to about here and I do find you do sometimes get a bit of bunching and like a bit of bulk around here, which obviously we don't really want. Um, but I think it's so perfect. Look, I mean, on the collar, it didn't look... Oh, I've got a bit of makeup on that as I put that on. Damn it. Um, <laughs> when I held it up on the hanger, it didn't look really high up. But on my neck, that is a full roll neck, so that's what I mean when I say be careful about your roll necks because they can be very overwhelming, um, but I do absolutely love this. I think it's just such a perfect autumnal basic. You can wear it just like this in autumn, and then in winter you can use it as a layering piece, wear it underneath like vests or jumpers. I really, really like these. I definitely recommend investing. Now, it is a little bit tight, so I would say if you don't want it really like skin tight, look to size up because this is like... <laughs> On me i mean it is stretchy so it's not uncomfortable um but just something to know if you want it a little bit looser look to size up. okay now next up we have a little cohort to show you so what i'll do is i'll show you the top and then the skirt and then we'll style them both up together so the top is something so classic and kind of similar i guess to the other two pieces it's almost like the other two jumpers combined we've got the like roll neck like full sleeve of the first jumper and then we've got like the color and the kind of material of the second jumper. Now I believe this is also yeah this is the restyled collection as well and I can really tell a difference in quality like the other white jumper is really lovely and well made but it's a bit thinner this one feels a lot thicker and just a little bit higher quality wise so I'm really really excited about this. I feel like this top is so so classic I can't wait to show you what it's going to look like with the skirt but also I feel like you can style this up by itself with like jeans, trousers and little skirt i feel like this is the kind of jumper that you can get so much wear out of in autumn winter it's really super simple but start up with like elevated jewelry or a cute little skirt i think would look really really nice so i'm so excited about this and then with the skirt it's just gonna look even better it's gonna look so cool so pulled together so chic i really love cohorts for outfits where you don't really want to put a lot of effort in but you want to look like you've put in quite a bit of effort because obviously as they are matching items they look like you've really curated your outfit it's really pulled together when actually you just found it in your wardrobe and you're like that'll do I'll just chuck that on now this skirt's gonna be a bit difficult for you to see with me holding up so it will be a lot better when you guys get to see it on but it's basically this really cute like ribbed midi skirt I absolutely adore it obviously it's gonna be a bit longer on me because it's not from the petite section but that is totally okay the mid axi trend is a trend that I Fully embrace at the moment I am not mad about I feel like it's actually quite flattering on us like I quite like items to come a little bit further down my calves I don't know about you guys but I really really like this I think this is such a gorgeous little skirt again can be styled up with the full cord or could be styled up by itself as well so I feel like these are items that you're definitely going to get a lot of cost per wear out of which you know we're all about over here on this channel now I'm not normally one to show off a lot of mid drift so let me know what you guys think of this because i kind of love it like it kind of looks like a dress like this which i think is cute obviously the kind of like ribbed jumper dress trend is definitely going to be back this year and i feel like this kind of looks like the jumper dress i mean these kind of skirts are so so cool they're very tight obviously and because it is cream it's a bit less forgiving um so i do worry about like eating in it but i love how it looks i definitely definitely love these like this detail here i think that's very flattering I think it really kind of like cinches in your waist pulls you in this v shape again is just so super flattering so i really really like it and i think the color is very nice as well like it's very nice and light and white and looks really like clean and crisp so yeah let me know your guys thoughts about this what do you think i i think i love it i really do now the next item if you watch my recent river haul you might be thinking any that's looking very similar to something from your river haul and it is but also it isn't 
So, I did pick up a pair of brown trainers from that haul, as you guys would have seen. But they had that asymmetric waistline, which I really, really liked. But I just saw these and thought, these are a lot more classic. Maybe I'll get a bit more wear out of them. And they're a bit closer in colour to the blaze that I picked up from that video. So, I feel like it might work better as a suit. And also, one of the things that kind of mainly sold me on these trousers is the fact that they have a cuffed hem. Now, these are not petite trousers. I do not expect them to fit me well. But fact that they've got a cuffed hem I was like maybe I could roll them up maybe I don't have to get them tailored maybe we can make something work so I thought you know what we'll just give them a try if it doesn't work out then it doesn't overly matter but I just thought they would be a cute little addition into my wardrobe and I really like them <laughs> I can't even begin to talk about these look at how much excess fabric I mean who is even that tall like that is literally my toe isn't even touching the bottom of that that is insane. I actually kind of want to give them to Alex, um, if you don't know, my six foot three boyfriend, to try on because I don't even think they'd fit him in length. Like, that is ridiculous. The irony is as well is that, like, they're actually really nice and, like, loose and, you know, if it wasn't for the bottom, I'd keep them. Or if it was just, like, a, I don't know. Oh, that is just absolutely ridiculous. Like, that is so much excess fabric there. I can't even deal. And then the last thing to show you is definitely the wild card of the video actually i think we've had two wild cards the, the red dress and this another card award this is the blazer for the card but i just think it's so super cute cropped blazers are very in at the moment and this kind of periwinkle color is a color that i experimented with back in springtime with that zara suit if you guys will remember that and i really really liked it so i thought you know what when i saw this i was like that's a really really cute color it's a great way to add a little bit extra into my wardrobe a little bit more color i can style it up with a lot of neutral things like roll necks underneath white roll necks maybe the white boots would look really really cute and I thought this might be a really cool addition into my wardrobe again I can style both items up as a co-ord and separately which is my favorite thing in the world and then the skirt really does just complete the card I think it just looks so so cute I'm loving tailoring as a trend at the moment and I feel like tailored skirts with blazers just look really really cool a little bit more cool girl honestly i'm like the least cool person in the world but i just thought it was super super cute i love the kind of like asymmetric buttons that go down it i love the hemline i just think it's really really different and gonna be a really flattering skirt so so happy that i've added this into my wardrobe okay so i'm kind of in love i really really am i have literally just chucked on actually which probably is not what you would have thought i would have styled this with the colorado graphic tee and i kind of think it looks cool it kind of like casuals the outfit down a bit now if you did want to wear this obviously a bit more like um workwear appropriate or kind of evening appropriate i'd say maybe like a roll neck or something just a bit more kind of corporate underneath but i kind of like the graphic tee just to kind of like casual it down a little bit maybe add some like chunky boots and i think it would look a lot more kind of every day um now one thing i will say the skirt is a little bit big now if you have like a really small waist i would say to size down um i don't know if maybe a size down would have worked for me the only thing is is because i feel like it wouldn't have fitted on my legs so i'm not sure it's a little bit loose but maybe i'm just gonna leave that because it's better to have room for the food baby um but yeah i love this cropped blazer i think it looks so super cool and then you can obviously wear it like tied up and you can style it up with jeans or anything else so i definitely think i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of that and i think this is such a cute little cord together so we're ending on a high guys this is honestly just the cutest cutest little cord i'm so so in love so that was everything that I have been adding into my wardrobe for autumn, winter. I'm so, so excited about so many of these pieces. Can you tell I'm loving the autumn styling at the moment? I'm just buzzing about it. Like I'm not excited about the fact that it's already getting dark, very early on in the evening, but I am excited for the layering, the trend pieces, the color palettes, it's just so me. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did get this far, leave me the red heart emoji because that red dress is just beautiful. Leave me the red heart emoji if you got this far in this video and please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. If you're not already subscribed, I'd absolutely love it if you hit that subscribe button. We're getting so close to 10K now, which just blows my mind i honestly appreciate every single one of you and i really appreciate the fact that you sit and listen to me ramble and listen to me get so excited about all these pieces because it really does mean the world to me but i hope you guys have a lovely day and i'll see you in my next video bye